we are back to trade induced slowdown fears yes we are um, we are that's still very much on the radar screen I mean the big shock frankly last week was the imposition of these waivers uh, extending to eight different countries. Uh, remember back in, uh, in, in, in May, June, July, when these sanctions were first talked about, Trump was very clear that, uh, that output was, uh, was, was to go to zero, Iranian exports would be zero, and there would be no option for any waivers in any capacity. So this, this has come as a little bit of a shock, and prices have weakened uh, a little bit more uh, at the end of last week, following what has been a pretty significant sell-off in the oil markets, following the equity right in October. Uh, so we're down around 16, 17 percent since the peak at the beginning of October. Um, and, uh, and now we need to see how the trade war evolves, very much so. Uh, we need to see how the market takes uh, the Iranian sanctions this week and what the waivers mean, what the details of the waivers are. And, um, and we see how it plays out for the rest of the year. Our view is that we still move higher. Um, the important thing is that spare capacity, which is one of the most important and significant drivers of oil prices, is the lowest it's been since 2004. That is on a Saudi Arabian basis and on an OPEC ex Iran basis. The last time we had spare capacity at these levels, prices jumped 40, 50 percent. This was back in 2004. So that is still, that is unchanged. Um, so that is, uh, that's going to be something to watch. We're entering a seasonal demand period in winter, um, winter around the corner. So uh, we're, we're still favourable to prices for the rest of this year, up to around $80 basis Brent in Q4. And that tight spare capacity is what the bulls are really latching onto. And uh, you've got Brent, on average, $80 a barrel for the current quarter. Isn't that something off a last hurrah, though, for the oil market before we start to head lower in 2019? It's going to be a rough year because the trade war is not going to go away anytime soon. Yes. Um, we see the peak in prices Q4, Q1. Um, one, of the, one of the other important drivers of prices are the bottlenecks in the shale uh, Permian Basin uh, in terms of the pipelines uh, not ready available yet to get all this shale oil out. Um, we understand that most of these pipelines are going to be ready in the second half of 2019 and that will alleviate a lot of the supply concerns that are building up in the US. So as that starts to come into the system, um, with the US already producing record volumes, Russia producing record volumes, Saudi at maximum, um, a demand wobbling a little bit, we expect lower prices into, uh, into 2019. So very much so. Q4, Q1 is, in our view, uh, the highest uh, for price point on our forecast horizon.